The woman accused of killing her daughter by brutally beating her is trying to get two prosecutors thrown off of her case, taking the argument to Maine's highest court. Sharon Carrillo's lawyer says his client has the mental capacity of a 12-year-old and is shaken to the core by the judicial process. It's hard for us to imagine that the idea that someone saw early a report that would soon be part of the public record could shake her as much as being charged with the murder of her daughter. Carrillo and her husband Julio are charged with the depraved indifference murder of her 10-year-old daughter Marissa Kennedy. Her lawyer Chris McLean is trying to get two prosecutors from the Attorney General's You're office right, off her case, Honor. claiming misconduct. His motion was initially denied in local courts and today he pleaded his case to Maine's Supreme Court. McLean claims prosecutors intentionally threatened a New York school with a subpoena and a fake court date in order to get confidential records. The Attorney General's office on the other hand says this was a mistake and a mix-up just due to prosecutors being busy with multiple cases. Those records reveal information about Sharon Carrillo's mental health and learning disabilities, something her attorney claims is affecting her throughout this process. This whole process is very scary to her. It's hard for her to process it and to think it through and to know that the prosecutors in the case have done something bad and have obtained records that they're not allowed to have and that they're they have information to use against her that they're not allowed to have is frightening and scary and uh, especially because of her intellectual limitations. Now, Carilla was not in the courtroom today. Her lawyer expects the decision will be handed down very soon.